So a combinatorial question is, how many n permutations are there of the multiset? There are two easy cases. If n is greater than or equal to any of the n i, there are i to the n permutations. And if n is exactly equal to the sum of the n i, then there are. But if n is less than n i for some of the i, then we might run out of some of the elements. Now, if we run out of some of the elements, we'd need to break the problem into a number of distinct cases. Now, remember, you can assume anything you want, as long as you make it explicit. And so we'll assume things that will make our life easier. Since we want to find the number of n permutations, we can't actually change n, but we can change our multiset so that n is the sum of the repetition numbers. For example, suppose we want to find the number of three permutations of the multiset. Now, we could have 0, 1, or 2 a's. If we have 0 a's, then we could have 0 or 1 b. If we have 0 b's as well, then all three elements must be chosen from the multiset with 0 a's, 0 b's, and three c's. And since the size of the permutation is the sum of the repetition numbers, we can use our formula to calculate the number of ways. If we have one b, then we must have two c's, so all three elements must be chosen from the multiset with still zero a's, one b, and two c's, and we can do this in. Now, since we only have one B in our set, we can't have two Bs, so the next step might be to consider if we have one A. If we have one A, then our three permutation must be chosen either from the multiset or from the multiset, which gives us If we have two a's, then our three permutations must be chosen from giving us, and this sum will give us the number of three permutations of this multiset. And this suggests a formula for computing permutations of multisets. The number of k permutations of the multiset is the sum of all possible expressions of this form where the individual factorials are less than or equal to the individual repetition numbers, and k is the sum of the pi's. And again, it's important to remember, don't memorize formulas, understand concepts. And especially in this case, this is a formula that is almost never practical to use. Instead, what's going to be important is this idea of summing over all possible expressions of a particular form. To see why this formula is actually kind of useless, let's consider a fairly modest problem finding the number of five permutations of this multiset. Since there are four elements, we want to list all possible p1 through p4, where the p's are less than the corresponding repetition numbers, and they add to five. Now, to keep track of everything, we can write these as ordered four tuples. And to be systematic, let's start with the fewest a, b, and c possible. If we have zero a's, zero b's, and zero c's, then, since this is supposed to be a five permutation, we have to have five d's. But we can't, since our set only has two d's. And in fact, since we only have two d's, we need at least three c's. So we can have a 0a, 0b, 3c, and 2d, which we'll record as the ordered tuple, and this will give us permutations. We could also have 4c's and a d, giving us a tuple, which gives us We can't have 5c's, so now let's increase the number of b's. If we have 0a, 
1b, then we need 4 more from c or d. And we can do this with 2c's and 2d's, 3c's and a d, or 4c's, which give us permutations. If we increase the number of b's, so we now have 0a's and 2b's, we need 3 from c or d, and we can do this using which give us an additional we can't have 3 b's so let's start with 1 a 0 b's and 4 from c or d which we can do as giving us the possibilities for 1 a 1b and 3 from c or d are, with permutations, the possibilities for 1a, 2b, and 2 more from c or d will be, with permutations, 2a, 0b, and 3 from c or d give us, 2a, 1b, and 2 from c or d are 2a, 2b. We could have 3a and 2 from c or d. 3a, 1b. And finally, we could have 3a and 2b with none from c or d. Phew. This rather horrifying expression is what we end up with when we try to use the formula. And so the natural question to ask is, is there an easier way? And the answer is... We'll take a look at that next.